Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video we are going to take a look at the GUI key Cloud 50 Watt Pro Laser Engraver and Cutter. This is comparable to the Glowforge style laser engravers, but it's 5 watts stronger, a little bit bigger in engraving and cutting area. But most importantly, it's quite a bit cheaper. It's made by the Chinese company GUI which is a manufacturer of big industrial laser cutters, welders, bending machines for over 17 years. Another benefit of this machine is that it's quite a bit faster than the other machines and it's not just cloud-based, so you can download software on your computer and use it without the internet. You can use Lightburn or GYK's own software. I don't have much experience with laser cutters and engravers, so if I can use this machine probably everybody can. So let's see how difficult this is to use. Let's set it on the floor and start unboxing it. I'm very surprised how well this laser is packaged. There is lots of packaging foam inside of the box. This is the honeycomb pattern for the bottom of the laser. And these orange straps are there to help you lift it out of the box. This is the second box that came in the package. These are the rotary attachments with cables and some replacement o-rings for the rollers. This is the 150mm exhaust fan. And in the bottom of the box, under the laser, there is a material package that comes free of charge to try out your laser. And this is for my ASMR loving friends. Inside of the machine you have the fume extractor hoses, some parts and tools, alongside with some cables and a quick start guide to get your machine up and running. I really like the appearance of the machine. It's made out of thick sheet metal and on the bottom it has a thick aluminium plate. So let's insert the honeycomb panel on the bottom and put back the drawer. There is also some packaging behind the gantry. The machine also comes with an Ethernet cable, USB cables as well as camera line when using Lightburn, as well as cleaning cotton swaps, markers, Allen wrenches and some fuses. So let's take a look inside of the machine. Here you can see the magnetic cover of the lens assembly and the built-in air assist with a little compressor. The laser tube is protected by a metal cover that rides on the gantry. The overall size of the machine is a little bit bigger, but it has an integrated cooling system, so that takes up a little bit of space. The material package includes five sheets of three millimeter basswood, five sheets of three millimeter acrylic, and two millimeter cardboard. The setup process went very quickly. You just have to connect your machine to the internet, register it, and create an account on Guayki's website. You have lots of design to choose from. So let's just start with something simple, for example, this test, and grab a three millimeter piece of basswood plywood. The machine comes with a built-in camera, which detects the QR code on the plywood and adjusts all the settings for engraving and cutting. You don't have to use the materials that come with the machine. You can also adjust them manually but this makes it very convenient for beginners like me. As you can see, there is a blue and a red border on the screen. The red border is the cutting area and the blue border is the engraving area, which is necessary to allow for the laser head to slow down before it reaches the end. Gwaiki advertises the speed of this laser at 600 mm a second, which is very fast in comparison to the other machines. I'm not sure if they have also a smaller engraving area than the cutting area. After hitting the print button on the screen, you just have to wait a few seconds and push the button on the machine. In the meantime, I connected up the exhaust fan to the machine and out my window. And let's just sit back and watch it do its magic. I slowed down this part of the video just so you can see in real time how long it takes to cut this out. This is again 3mm basswood, plywood and this is 10% of the maximum speed so I'm sure it can go faster with some tweaking but for the first cut 
I'm impressed. And now you can see what I was talking about with the blue border, that the laser head needs a little bit of space that it can slow down when it's engraving. This took about 30 minutes in real time to finish. I did not touch any settings. So this is how it looks. The text is clean. What I don't like is there is a little hump in the border and also some charring marks here on the surface which has something to do with the air assist I guess but I don't know if that's adjustable. What I really like about the browser based interface that it's very easy to add text or shapes. You can also modify the typefaces so let's just put this on the side here and start cutting. It's also possible to add your own images and also to modify them just to give it a frame for example or cut the frame out. So let's do this over here and see how it turns out. And after 10 minutes this is also finished. Looks really impressive. The only thing again is the little charring marks at the edge of the engraving. But I'm sure this can be fixed with a little bit of sanding. So let's remove the drawer and the honeycomb panel and try the rotary attachment next. There is a little micro switch in the right upper corner which detects if the drawer is out that you need to block with this little piece of aluminium. The laser comes with these two rotary attachments, one bigger one and a smaller one for thinner items. You can also raise and lower the end of the rotary if you want to engrave things that are smaller on one end than the other. I had some issues figuring out how this rotary attachment works, but I reached out to the support, they were very helpful, and they told me it's just simple as plugging in the rotary in the backside of the machine and flipping over these two switches. The rotary attachments are numbered, so you have the number one, and you have to line up the gantry to the number one mark on the right side. And after that, you just have to make sure that your item that you want to engrave isn't bigger than 74 millimeters. Next up, you have to manually insert the focus length. The focus length from the laser head to the surface where your laser is sitting on is 86.2 millimeters. And you have to subtract your height of your item from that. And that equals your focus that you have to input into the software which is in my case 4.2 millimeters. This engraving took about five minutes, but it turned out great. Looks very crisp. This machine allows you also to engrave bigger pieces than the machine bed. For that you have to remove the phone drawer and also the strip that seals the back off. Through that slot you can feed thinner materials up to 6 mm. So let's give this a try. The exhaust hoses are a little bit in the way, but that's easy to fix. And for this I will use Lightburn and just engrave my logo. This is a third party software, which is not very easy to use. I don't know what I'm doing here, but most of the pro users are using this so it's very handy to have. You can use this machine offline with this and you can also connect up the camera of this machine with an extra cable that is included so you have a live view of the working area. So let's just use my logo for this example and start engraving. Thank you. 
I also did a try on leather. As you can see, the fume extraction works very good. The only problem I had that the leather is a little bit warped, so the focusing was a little bit off. But other than that, they came out perfect. These are some drink coasters. Here you can see how the leather is a little bit warped, so that's why the text came out a little bit soft on the edges. And it would be probably better to first engrave and then cut out these shapes just to keep them in place. So some of these burn marks are easily rubbed away, but other ones are a little bit too deep. But I learned my lesson, so next time I will be more careful of that. Other than that, they came out great. Hope you didn't mind the voiceover, I just wanted to make sure to keep this video informative and to the point. These were the tests I've done so far, but I'm really looking forward to exploring more possibilities in future projects. If you want to know more about this laser, you can check out the link in the description. And if you are buying one, just use the coupon code OLARIS200 to save $200 on your order. Just to be transparent, Guayki sent me this laser for review, but they had no input in making of this video. My final verdict as a beginner is that it's very easy to set up, the browser based interface is easy to use and if you outgrow the features you have the option to use third party software like Lightburn. In terms of the speed I really can't compare it to the other machines, I just know that this one is the fastest on paper and also the cheapest in this segment. On the downside the rotary attachment could be built better and they are a little bit finicky to set up and you are also limited to using objects that are between 30 and 74 millimeters and that my machine didn't came with any user manuals, but Guayki ensured me that they are working on a translated manual. All in all, I really like it this far. Thank you very much for checking out this machine with me, and see you next time. Bye!